everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a box opening of an OB11 doll. And what OB11 stands for is Obitsu 11. So this is a body of an Obitsu 11. But what they are is they're a really popular doll right now in China and they've become really, really popular um, around the world. They are artist created dolls. They create the faces or the heads and faces out of polymer clay and they put them on those bodies and they're super duper cute. And I really didn't know much about them until a few weeks ago. My friend Elena invited me to a Facebook group and I got like, oh my gosh, super obsessed. And so I got my first doll from artist Judy Chang and I'm gonna pull it out now and give her an open. So she came in this adorable box that says best wishes for you, blue with a pink bow and it's sealed with some washi tape, you can see there. So I'm gonna open her up, I'm really excited. And if you're interested, if you like this, you can come join our group on Facebook. It's called OB11 World and there's, it's growing really fast. There's lots of members, lots of great information there about the dolls. All right, so on top, let's see what I have here. I, I'm gonna guess these are care instructions because this artist, Judy, actually posted a lot of care instructions in our group. Yes, she did. So she created some care instructions which are posted in our group about how to care for these dolls, which is really cool. And she included a little stand for me. She was showing me this earlier. Um, this is like a little stand that I can use to help stand up my OB11 doll. So that's really exciting. So, all right, let's get to the doll. So we've got some stuffing here. Okay, so here's the body box. Um, she sent that, that was nice. And then, oh, there's her little face. Can you see it and all the fluff? Oh, she's so cute. Look at the little fluffy face. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the fluff out. Oh, wow. She is so precious. And she's got another little stand with her. Very nice. That's really awesome that she included that stand. Oh, I love her box and all her little fluffy stuff. Okay, so here she is. And I got a fully costumed doll. These dolls you can buy just the heads from a lot of artists or you can buy a full set like I have got here. I just wanted to go ahead and get a full set so I'd have the whole doll completed with outfit and everything from the moment I opened the box. But you can get the, just the heads are more or less expensive of course. Um, and you get your own body. You can get the bodies on Amazon. They're, they're like 20 bucks. Wow. Look how adorable she is. She is so, so, so cute. I'm warning you guys, if you like them and you come join our group, you're going to be obsessed like I am. Oh my goodness. All right. So let me put her little shoes on good. And the little OB11 body is really nice and poseable. Now they're kind of top heavy, but she stands really well. So you can see I've got her standing without the, the stand. I think the shoes help a lot. These shoes have wide soles. So I'm able to stand her up like that. Now this stand, I'm trying to figure out how, if it goes around the neck, let's see. Yes. So this little stand goes around the neck and she can kind of stand up with that. That may not go around the neck. I may be wrong. I mean, it does go. I mean, it fits around the neck. Gosh, she is just so adorable. Look how cute she is. And those little, oh, she's so sweet. I love it. So this, Judy was showing me, I can use to kind of do um, like pose her, kind of put these two around her waist and then help push the back out like so and it'll help her stand up some. So I really think that's a really nice touch that she added in my box um, for helping my girl stand. 
and my table is really slick, so this may not be the best place to demonstrate it. She, I got her to stand on her own without any of those things, so gosh, she's so, so cute. So they are a little heavy up top, but the head is what's artist sculpted. So the head is artist sculpted in polymer clay or cernet, if you've heard of the cernet stuff. And then, like I said, the clothes, the wig size, so they, they do have interchangeable wigs. The wig sizes are um, usually going to be a 5'6". This girl's a 5'6". You may have a little variation in sizing because they are all handmade. Um, all the heads are handmade. And they slide onto these bodies. Oh, she's so sweet. I really love her. Look at her little tongue and her teeth. She is just the cutest, cutest little thing. Gosh. She is so adorable. So I can see how these would be super duper, super addictive. Now, something I've read, I don't have um, very many polymer clay things, but I've read not to handle them too much because the clay, not to like put your hands on it because your natural essences will, can make the face shiny and can kind of damage the face a little more than say like regular resin would. But they are sealed. They use the same sorts of sealants that people use in face-ups for BJDs, so, and vinyl dolls. Wow. I really love her. She is so sweet, you guys. Oh, my goodness. And they're, again, they're called OB11 dolls, and you can just go into a black hole looking at these dolls all weekend long. Ask me how I know. <laughs> but... Here I have one now, and she is so sweet, and the artist Judy was wonderful to work with. Um, absolutely fantastic, and I love this little sweet doll that she made, and I'm really, really pleased with it. So, thank you very much, Judy, for making such a sweet doll. Thank you, everybody else, for watching. If you have any questions about the OB11 dolls, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm in no, by no means an expert, on these dolls everything I know I've learned in the last couple of weeks but um, I'll try to answer your questions as best as I can and if you want to learn more that Facebook group is a great place because it's it's an English speaking group so um, you can find all information in English and it's called OB11 world so thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye